All right, so here we are in lesson seven, video two, and we're looking at some area models and thinking about the expressions that represent that area model. I'm just trying, there we go. Okay, so look at our area model. We see that we're talking about one third of two thirds, right? One third of two thirds, here's our two thirds and here's our one third. So what would be our expression of that? That would be the same as, let's see if it's gonna let me pick up a pen here. All right, there we go. That would be one third of two thirds. So I'm using the multiplication because we want to make sure that we know that we're multiplying, but we could also write of, and for this practice, we are not solving right now. One third of two thirds. All right, let's look at the next one. See if I can clean that off for us. There we go. All right, let's try the next one. Okay, what is the expression that we see here? Make sure you're writing these down in your notes. What expression would we have? We would have one fourth times two thirds or one fourth of two thirds. So if I said two thirds of my students are from Ka'u and one fourth of them are absent today. So that would be one fourth of two thirds. All right, very good. Let's go to the next one. Okay, what expression do you think this one would be? Please make sure you're writing these down as we go in your notes. One half times two thirds, one half of two thirds. So I have two thirds and I just want one half of it, right? Okay, very good. Okay, now look back at that video, sorry, that sketch that you made of one half of one half. Is it still accurate? Does it still make sense? If not, fix it up so that it is showing one half of one half in the same way of these video of these models that we're drawing right here. Okay, let's go to number um, two in your book. There we go. Whoops, guess we've got to clean off the screen. There we go. All right, number two in your book, and we're going to look at that model of one half of one half again. Um, here we have one half times one half. So let's use an area model to show that. Sorry, just checking something. All right, here we go. All right, so here is a block. And oh, let's try that again. Here is a square or something. And I have one half of it right? And now that would be one half. And now I'm going to take one half of one half, cut it in half this way, one half of one half. So that would be this little part in here. So one times one is one and two times two is four. So you can see how one half of one half is one fourth and one fourth is less than one half, right? Um, yes, you could just be multiplying straight across and hopefully you know how to do that, but this is helping you to visualize what it really is when we take one half of one half in case you are wondering what we're doing. Okay, let's look at number three in your book, one fourth times three fifths. Now what is different of problem three compared to problem two? 
our factors are different, right? We have two fractions as factors, and these were both unit fractions, but now we have one-fourth times three-fifths. So let's draw a model to go with it. Okay, and three-fifths. So how many pieces do we need to break it into? If we're going to have three-fifths, we need to have five parts. And they do not need to be perfect. Just get them drawn. That's the important part. And we're looking at three of the fifths. One, two, three. So that would be three fifths, right? This section right here. But I need one fourth of my three fifths. So that means I'm going to cut it into four parts going this way. Three lines makes four parts. And I'm going to look at where my one fourth and my three fifths overlap, right? Let's get a different color and color in that overlap. One fourth of three fifths is right there. Yes. Okay. So we have our area model drawn. And we could see how much it would be. Um, we could count our blocks, right? We have a total of 20 blocks, 4 times 5. And we're only using 3 of them. So I'm going to predict that our answer is going to be 3 twentieths. And we could double check that by multiplying straight across. 1 times 3 is 3. And 4 times 5 is 20. So that makes 3 twentieths. And that makes sense because our 3 twentieths is definitely less than 1 fourth, which would be this whole section, and definitely less than 3 fifths, which would be this whole section. So we're seeing that our product is going to be less than our factors. Okay, very good. Um, let's do one more, clean this off, and let's go to number four. Now we have a number line to help us out as well, as well as a block here. Let's make it a little bit bigger so we can look at it. All right, so we have one-fourth times one-third. That also means one-half, sorry, one half times one third. It's written wrong in my book. Um, so that also means one half of three fourths, right? One half of three fourths. Sorry, I was just checking to make sure I was on the right number here. All right, there we go. One half of three fourths. So going to just make it big for us for a moment. And here I have three fourths. Okay. And remember when we had number lines before, we talked about one half of each part. So if I have one half of each fourth, see there, and I know that this would be an eighth. So one eighth, two eighths, three eighths. Okay. I can also think about using my area model here. Um, one half of three fourths. So let's do three fourths. Three lines makes four parts, right? So this is three fourths and then one half. Okay, so I'm going to be talking about this block right here. This is my one half of three fourths. So one, two, three out of eight sections. That would be three eighths. Yes. 
and 3 eighths is less than 3 fourths and less than 1 half. All right. Very good job. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for your kind attention. Aloha.